let's talk about speed ramping. Ooh. Now, what is speed ramping? Speed ramping is what you just saw right there. It's essentially taking a clip and then speeding it up or slowing it down. Yeah. Now, the thing about speed ramping is that you can get the viewer more engaged by changing up the flow, you know? You can manipulate time. You as an editor can emphasize moments by easing into slow motion you know say the clip is too fast and you just kind of want to let the viewer know what's going on or just embrace what's happening letting the viewer really feel the moment before speeding it up again now why would you use this technique speed ramping is a great way to draw attention and can be used as a dramatic effect also. And this technique can be used in every types of videos. Now, I'm gonna show you guys how to not do a speed ramp. This is what I see a lot of amateurs do when they speed ramp, speed ramp. Okay, so right here I got a clip from the A7S III with the 12 millimeter Lawa. This is shot in S-Log3, so the footage is really flat, so we're gonna slap on my LUT to make it easier for us. You can find the LUTs in the description below. Alright, so much more pleasant to look at. So this is how to not do it. You cut it, and then you take the middle portion, and you speed it up to, yeah, let's say four times. What you basically did is that you divided a whole clip into three pieces. Three pieces where the middle one is the fastest. Don't do that shit bro. Please. Anyways. So instead of doing that, luckily Final Cut Pro has a plugin or a speed ramp technique which helps you to smooth out. So instead of cutting it up, you essentially choose your first where you want the speed ramp to start and then you click on this speed right here and blade speed or shortcut shift B this is where you want the speed ramp to start and this is where you want the speed ramp to end so shift B now what you do is that you take this middle portion and then fasten up to whatever you like I would try four times yeah gonna let it render and then we're gonna see how it looks okay let's play you see much better now you can get even smoother than this depending on these gray bars that you see up here if you drag these I'm gonna explain to you guys what this gray bar does. As you can see, 50%, which means from this part up until the gray bar starts here, it's gonna be 50%. And from the start of that gray bar until the end of that gray bar, it will it will eventually speed up to 400%. Yes. So I can either delay when I want the speed ramp to start so now I'm delaying it by making it more narrow so the speed ramp won't start until the first of that gray bar and then by the end of the gray bar it will be 400 so if I drag these and stretch them out also this it made sense right? yeah whatever All right. So if you drag these, it will basically be even smoother. You see? Even smoother. So now you know how to do a speed ramp properly in Final Cut Pro. Alright, so let's take this to a next level. Let's try another clip, right? Taking it to the next step. Now. Timing is really important. 
timing you want to time right where the speed ramp is gonna be or else you're just going to look weird so let's time the speed ramp for this shot right here and I'll talk you through what I think sometimes this might be too slow so what I do is that I let the viewer watch the first couple of seconds just to get established of where we're at and then from here I can kind of speed up and then slowing it down you know what I mean so let me let me show you guys about here so shift B shortcut for speed run this is my first marker and then where do I want it to end right before I enter the door frame because I want I want it to ease into the door frame and into the room instead of pass through the room and then easing out so about here end marker shift B now passing this up to let's try let's try two so Final Cut Pro has already made up where these gray bars is gonna be I'm gonna take a look and see how that turns out yeah it works So what you also want to do is that you want to try out different speed and also drag these gray bars here. Depending on what music you use or the soundtrack you want to match. Okay, let's just try 4x and then if I want to smooth it out, I'll drag this bar. So if you're really watching carefully, it can get a bit choppy at the start of the speed ramp and at the end. Can get a bit choppy so what you can do to take it to the next level is that you add you add a motion blur so I'm gonna use this motion blur from Ryan Angle add them add on top and then drag so I want the start of the motion blur to be a little bit before this gray bar starts and then drag so it goes further than the gray bars now kind of layer render let's watch the clip <laughs> much smoother as you can see this is with the motion blur This is without. You see the difference? It's in the details, bruh! <clears throat> Anyways, the LUT that I'm using is. This is how it looks with the free Sony S Log Reco 9, and then add my LUT on top. Boom! You see? Boom! Again, link is in the description. Anyways, okay, so let's move out from these boring real estate shots. Let's try something with more action, right? What we did now is that we went from slow to fast and then slow. Now we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna go, we're gonna have a relatively fast clip and then we're gonna slow it down to get the viewer to kind of embrace the moment even more because things go so fast that they can't even you know recognize what's going on this clip i flew with an fpv drone where i attach a gopro on it so this is a Go gopro clip i used a very high frame rate for this shot so the resolution isn't that high okay cool shot right Boom. almost cut his cut his head off but um, yeah this clip is a great example of where I can use speed ramping to slow down get the viewer to kind of see what's going on and then speeding it up again 
You just learn how to speed ramp using Final Cut Pro and you just learn a little bit about timing. So we're gonna implement that in this clip. I want the speed ramp to just kind of start here. Shift B. Open this up. So we'll speed ramp, slow, slow, slow. And then from here, I wanted to set my end mark, Shift B. And then we take the middle part and then we slow it down to let's say 10%. Alright, alright. I actually want the timing to be a little bit different. I started the speed ramp too soon. I wanted to start there. Okay, so we're gonna have another try. And B, the middle part. 10%. Mm. Mm. <laughs> you see? You see? I'm playing with you. Now we're gonna add the hero bella that I have in the description, custom, add that on top, and then we're gonna look for the hero bell 7. Woo! I mean come on guys, look at this LUT, before, after. Ooh. I hope you guys learned something new today and yeah, if there's any question you have, leave it in the comments below and yeah, see you in the next one. Peace!